the lights flickered once, and then about 30 seconds later, they started flickering again. And I looked down, hopefully we'll see what happened. Uh, I do apologize because that 3D print's still running and it's probably making quite a bit of noise. Uh, the fan on that thing is real. I, could, I still, I unplugged it and then I just grabbed the thing and took the wiring off. So that's it without the outer jacket on. I believe it was from somewhere up here. It started to arc over, oh wait. That right there is your problem. The uh, NTC has got a bunch of cracks in it. Let's see if I can get in close on that. All right, we've got the macro mode on, which doesn't look very good now, but when I bring this in close, you should be able to see it. So that is the part that blew up. That is an NTC, so that's what's used for inrush current limiting. And you can see there, we have giant cracks in it. A nice white mark in the bottom, so that's what was arcing over. Issue here is the NTC, though I don't think this is really worth uh, repairing at this point. <clears throat> or I'm not. Stuff's still pretty hot in here. I'm not sure how common failures of NTCs really are. If that's a big thing or not. So get the macro lens back out and I'll take a look at the inside of this since it's split in half. All right, so I've got my uh, NTC halves kind of propped up here just so I can get the macro lens to focus on them properly, but if we zoom right on in here, you can get an interesting look at a bit of an idea and I actually have a piece of half a measure it. So it does have a marked high resistance. You plug it in, the capacitors are going to try to draw it well. No, I think it turned out okay. Probably better than the original in terms of current. A, it works. So what happened was I used one of those little uh, desoldering pump things that actually had the heat on the end. It was probably lower than that. All right. So there was one other uh, 